My name is Steven Redmond. I am a community organizer, and right now we are in Lamert Park, aka Africa Town. We decided to rename it Africa Town because Lamert, uh, who was one of the originators of this park, wouldn't let uh, any people of color come here. Um, I forget the exact time period, but I want to say probably around like the 20s, 30s. Uh, so over time, we still forced our way, not forced, but you know, kept coming to the park, and you know they couldn't deter people of color from coming here. Um, and after a while, we were like, well, why are we continuing to call this place uh, Lamert Park if he didn't like people of color? So what should we call it? And we're in Los Angeles and we have Koreatown and you know, Little Tokyo and Chinatown. Everybody has their own sector where it is named after them and it's centered after their culture. We were like, well, let's name this Africa Town. There's a program that we run where we feed and shelter homeless people uh, that are out here in this community. Um, we do a, an annual winter drive uh, to garner resources for them, for the ones that are out here. Um, over the years, that program has gotten better when it comes to our own um, organization being able to do things and finding other organizations outside of the community to also come help and donate uh, because it was getting to be sort of a, uh, an issue. I would want to say not with people being out here, but just the interactions that were going on between the businesses and the vendors and just, you know, just all the different groups of people that come out here. Every Sunday we have our marketplace where you can come out and enjoy the vendors that come out here. You can also come out and enjoy it on Saturday too. Saturday is going to be a little bit different than Monday. Monday is a little bit more of like an organized event where Saturday is really free flow with people just set up everywhere. We have jazz nights, Barbara Morrison Studios down there, she has acting events and musicians come out all the time. Uh, Soul Folks, uh, they have their art lab right down the street too. They do many community events, they do a food giveaway every Wednesday, I believe, at noon. Um, and, and, and too much, there's way more than I could possibly say. We have healthy food, there's workshops, yoga in the park, uh, self-defense lessons. You go into the building, you come out here and do it with your friends. Live music almost every hour on the hour. Every day. Uh, this is a great place. I feel like a common vision for a lot of the community members with a stake in the community when it comes to like the businesses um, and merchants and maybe some politicians that could be a, a little bit better. Uh, communication could be better. I would say that that goes just cause challenges in itself, you know, especially in today's time. Um, but outside of that, I feel like the challenges that we face are the same as any other community would face. It's just more so uh, the dynamic uh, and the location and, the, and then how the how the city regulates, you know, districting and zoning, who, who gets help and who doesn't. You know, if you're getting funding from the city, you probably don't have too many problems, right? You know, money, money does help us solve problems when it comes to things like that, I would think. So I think if the city would pay more attention to what's going on down here and helping, that would really relieve a lot of the problems. You know, the city doesn't help. Um, the challenges, you know, small bickering here and there, people don't see eye to eye, that, that's, you know, that's as part of life I see it. I don't think, I don't think there's problems now. Uh, let's give the marketplace, for example, that uh, we do on Sundays now. 
uh, the permit you know, that I think uh, between the different organizations that get together to do the Sunday Marketplace, it costs around $4,000 to run the marketplace. I believe this is the only farmer's market in the city where, uh, in the city where the city receives money, where they have all these restrictions and fees that have to be paid, whereas uh, 22, however uh, many other farmers workers there are in the city of Los Angeles, get funded by the city. So it's like it's, it's an opposite. They give all the other farmers markets money when they're taking money from us. And it doesn't make sense. Um, they're always coming down and saying, if you don't comply with this and that and the third, we're going to shut, shut you down. And we go to the other farmers markets and ask them, do you guys have to do all these, you know, jump through all these you know, loopholes, things like that to get to your goals and your accomplishments? They're like, no, the city funds us and they approve everything. They send everything we need. That's just one. This one instance, um, they shut down one of the parking lots because of uh, some gang violence. So they say, you know, like, I don't think that was, you know, there's some gang violence in the area. There's some city building right down the street that's supposed to do something about the gang violence and doesn't really seem to do too much. And then the parking lot gets shut down instead of sending the people that are supposed to do it to handle the situation. So it creates a really incon big inconvenience on the people in the community. Now, all these businesses and, you know, uh, the merchants and the vendors and everyone who comes out here now share one tiny little parking lot. It's, 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 and it's causing more problems because, you know, again, whoever was over there still moved just to this parking lot. It's not, it's not solving it. It's just one small example. My purpose is to make the world a better place than it was when I got here. And I want to leave the planet or the realm or whatever you want to call it better than I found it. Uh, I love seeing smiles on people's faces. I love uh, bringing people together and building a positive community, uh, achieving goals. Uh, I'm not much of a nonsense type of person, you know? Like, you know, I like to have my fun, but I'm pretty chill. I'm gonna sit back and just do my job. My job is to build community and uh, keep the space, um, you know, safe for everyone that's here. Yeah, I grew up here. I fell in love with uh, Los Angeles and, you know, the Merck Park area. I grew up right up the street. Um, I can see the hill and the house. Um, and when I came back as an adult, because I didn't, my family didn't move when I was uh, a preteen. Um, it wasn't the same. I felt like the population had died down. The liveliness wasn't in, 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 in the streets anymore. Uh, the music, the laughter, just and now with the pandemic, uh, it's not making things any better. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just here to, to build the community back up. Uh, I enjoy seeing smiles on everybody's faces. Even though if I'm not having the greatest day, I try not to let that bother me. And keep putting smiles on people's faces. Say hi to your neighbor, you know. Smile at people when you're walking down the street. Uh, everybody's going through stuff, and especially here. It's a big city with a lot of people and a lot of... A lot of no concern for the person next to you because whatever happens to the person next to you is really close to what it does might just happen to you. So I feel like if we all took the time to, you know, just care and yeah, talk to people, take take the extra two minutes. Even if you don't like it, I can tell my friends get mad at me when they ask me for a ride and I'm like, you need another ride? And I'm just like, yes, I will take you. It's just like, I'm gonna have to buy a new car. Ain't nobody gonna pay for my car. That's not gonna happen. But you know, I gave my friend a ride and they were happy and you know, it's been a cold winter out here. They have to walk in the rain or something, so I don't mind. Instead of getting mad at people over nothing, sit down and have a conversation before you decide to throw hands, right? Or whatever the case may be, however you handle your business, have the conversation first. Let's, let's talk first and shoot later when it comes to each other. At least when it comes to each other. If you want to shoot first, go shoot first over. Barely, when, when somebody else really fucking with you, but not with each other.